several people have been asking me how I got down to 7.5% body fat and gained muscle mass at 43 years old while working 50 hours a week as a full-time primary care physician. What they don't know is that I've been having fun doing it. And today, I'm going to show you exactly what it is I'm doing and how it's having a huge impact on my life. It occurs to me that to take total control of the body, one must understand the anatomy, the physiology, and what is currently out there for treatment. It's also important to know the details of why certain dietary approaches succeed for some people and fail for others. To begin, we'll start with how to lose belly fat and fix belly fat related diseases like diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol. There are two basic categories when discussing the approach to changing belly fat. The most important word here is that we have to make a change in something, knowing that if we do the same thing, nothing ever is altered in the body. We'll never be able to take control by doing the same as before if we didn't have control prior. So in these changes, there are two types of changes. Number one is a change in the food we take in or, quote, the diet. Number two is a change in movement of the body or, quote, exercise. That seems fairly obvious, but when we talk about the metabolic ins and outs, it's important to know that there's no other option besides change in food and change in movement. And when we simplify it like this, it may help us get our mind around the whole situation. We're going to talk about change in movement and exercise in a different video. Today, we're focusing on change in food intake or diet. When discussing change in food intake, there are also only two categories to discuss. The first is the change in volume of food, and the second is a change in type of food. Popular examples of change in volume of food are to use smaller plates at dinner, to order an appetizer for dinner, to split meals every time you go out, intermittent fasting decreases the volume, counting mouthfuls is a volume-based approach. There are also stimulants and appetite suppressants like phenteramine, which decrease the volume of food we take in. And then of course there's the mechanical blocking of volume using the surgical gastric bypass, the gastric sleeves, and all of the other medical procedures that inhibit the volume of food from coming in. Popular approaches and change in type of food include becoming a vegetarian or a vegan, the low-fat diets that were very popular in the 1980s. More recently, the low-carbohydrate diets have gained popularity, starting with the Atkins diet, then we saw the Zone, the Paleo diet, and now the Ketogenic diet, all are low-carbohydrate diets. A third category here would be the popular diet programs like Weight Watchers and Jenny Craig. They use both a change in volume and a change in type of food, typically a lower fat type of food, and to change the volume, they have several clever ways of counting points or preparing meals in ways that the volume is decreased. If you're like me and you like to constantly invent and create new programs and approaches, these two parameters, volume and type, will give you the keys to the castle to create your own diet. Some changes have much more potency than others. So you can either play with the levers yourself or you can decide to replicate what others have done that have brought great success. Another option you have besides the style of the diet is the intensity level of the diet. If you want to lose belly fat immediately and turn up the intensity of the way we level this volume and type, we'll take you to that extreme as an option. But if you're extremely busy and you just want to do this over a longer period of time and gain the skill in a non-urgent way, I'll teach you how to change the levels in subtle ways and that may suit your lifestyle better. That's the beauty of this approach. I'm going to demonstrate what it looks like at the extreme and then show you how to incrementally moderate the diet based on your own needs, goals, and creative ideas. That's going to be the fun part of this approach.